Hello gamers and welcome to Hapog Gaming Tutorials Volume 2. I'm Fallen Frog and I am back to show you guys even more cool things that you can do now that you know how to stream or record with your HD PVR or HD PVR Rocket. And today's first lesson, we're going to jump into OBS and the HD PVR. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey Frog, uh, you showed us how to use OBS in lesson 8 of the previous tutorial series. I totally did. I showed you guys how to get set up with the multi-platform version over there on the right, but I did not show you how to get set up with the OG version of OBS, the 0.652 beta. Uh, this is the original version of OBS that came out. This is what, you know, before we discovered a multi-platform, this is what we had to use uh, for the longest time, and it works great. It still works great. Uh, it still has its uses. Um, I think it'll be able to help you guys out, so I'm definitely going to show you that. Uh, we're also going to be using that just as the foundation for going forward in these tutorials. But it, any of the stuff that I teach you guys, uh, all the stuff that I show you throughout this lesson, will carry over to multi-platform. It'll carry over to XSplit if you want to take it that far as well. Uh, really, I'm just going to be using this as the tool to show you guys some cool things that you can do across all the all the platforms. So. It uh, doesn't matter which one you want to use, but if you would like to follow along with me today, make sure you have that downloaded. Uh, just go ahead and download that and install that, and you'll be good to go. Uh, you will also need a pod capture. Uh, so you, chances are, if you've you've already got a pod capture installed, if you're using the HD PVR2 or HD PVR Rocket, but just make sure you have the latest version. And if you don't have it already, go ahead and get it right here. It's completely free. Uh, so just make sure you go to hapog.com slash capture and click on the download tab and you'll be good to go. All right, so we're on the desktop. Uh, we've got Hapog Capture open. We've got OBS open. And now we're ready to start uh, capturing this gameplay and bringing it into OBS. So uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make Hapog Capture. Uh, we're going to want to we're going to want to make this window bigger. So go ahead and double click that and you should get a full screen version of the window. Uh, now let's go back over to OBS and make sure that your OBS is smaller than the preview window. Uh, we're going to be able, we're going to need to be able to see the edges. This we're going to need to be able to see the edges of this preview window in just a moment. Uh, first thing that we need to do with OBS is I'm going to bring my Xbox out of standby. Uh, we're going to add a scene by right-clicking in the scenes box. Add a scene. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as scene for now. And then right click in sources and we're going to add a source. Now everything's going to tell you to pick video capture device. That's what, you know, everything in your body, everything you feel in your heart is going to say to add my HD PVR, I need to select video capture device. And you would be right. It's, it shows up in the devices list, but as soon as you hit OK, uh, it, it just doesn't work. It errors out uh, and it's just due to original OVS's limited support of devices. That's why the multi-platform version was a really big deal when it came out because you can select your HD PVR as a source, as a device, and it just automatically starts working. Uh, it's helpful, it's great, but it isn't necessary. So we're going to select Window Capture and I'm going to show you the workaround. Uh, you can name this source whatever you want, I'm just going to leave mine as Window Capture for now. And in our Properties window, uh, we can now select which window we want to capture. So make sure that Hapog Capture is selected in the top in the drop down box. Uh, if it's not selected, just go ahead and select it. And if it doesn't show up, then you don't have Hapog Capture open and running. And so just make sure it is open and running at the same time. Uh, inner window or entire window. Well, we're not going to select the entire window because we don't want we don't want to stream our capture tabs, our edit tabs, all, you know, all of our record settings. We're, we're going to want just the gameplay, so uh, make sure you have your window selected. Uh, I'm also going to turn off my mouse cursor because this is console gameplay, and we don't need a mouse on the screen. So, <laughs> uh, skipping down, let's go down to subregion and check this box because this will enable us to select a subregion. Uh, we can plug in the position and you know change the size manually if we know those variables. I don't know those variables, so I'm going to hit select region, and it's going to bring up this white square, this translucent white square. What we're going to do is grab the sides, 
click and drag and we're going to resize this to our gameplay window. So just drag this over until uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just good enough for you if you want to fine tune it after you've uh, you know after you've hit enter or clicked outside of the square to uh, select it if you need to fine-tune that you can as well so you just hit enter and it's good to go uh, just hit select region if you want to do it again but I'm, I'm fine with this so this should work for us uh, and then hit OK now also big difference between this and multi-platform version uh, there's no preview on the stream uh, there's no no stage area in the you know in OBS you have to hit preview stream in order to see that. So let's hit preview stream, uh, and then we'll, we'll let OBS load up and do its thing, and then we'll be able to, there it is. So we can see we've got our gameplay here, just like it is in HipHog Capture. Uh, there's a tiny difference, and in order to fix this, we need to go to edit scene. Uh, this just allows us to edit our scene. It's, it's like a toggle. Uh, this way you don't move things in the middle of you know your broadcast if you don't want to you can always uncheck that and everything will stay in place but now that it's now that we can edit it you can see we can move our gameplay around and do whatever we want with it I'm going to bring mine to the corner and resize this so that it's full screen just like that uh, and there we go we have got full screen gameplay it's being captured it's being sent over to OBS uh, and it will continue to do so as long as you have a pod capture open and running uh, one more thing I want to add before we uh, before we go before I end this is I'm going to add an image. Uh, I have a and I'm just going to name this. I'm just going to leave it named image. Uh, we're going to browse over. I have a Hapog Gaming logo that we're going to add right over here to the corner. And uh, what this is going to do is going to just basically simulate like an overlay for us. So. Um, you can see that if I was to start streaming or recording through OBS right now, you know, all of our gameplay would be recorded and it would have the Hapog Gaming logo over in the corner. Um, and of course, if you were to add webcam, uh, text fields, you know, I mean, everything you add to OBS is going to be recorded into that OBS video. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to make your stream look really cool, make it really look really awesome. It'll help it stand out as well. But there are times when you don't want all that stuff. Uh, you know, you don't you don't want to you don't want uh, notifications going off. You don't want uh, logos. You don't you don't want anything that could distract from the gameplay. Depending on what type of video you're doing. So using this method, you could you know say you're streaming and recording through OBS right now. You know, I'm streaming to OBS. I'm streaming to Twitch, and everyone's watching. And we've got the Hapa Gaming logo in the corner. At any time, you can come over and hit record in Hapog Capture, and it will capture straight gameplay. So if you're if you're the type of person who, uh, you know, you you have your Twitch stream and you like to play a lot of games, you know, a lot of games, let's say that don't offer a whole lot of replay value. You you don't want to go back and play it again just to make a walkthrough. So you want to take your footage from Twitch that you've been you know streaming with your friends and whatnot. Uh, and then you want clean gameplay to go back through and you know upload a walkthrough say so you know you found a secret in level six uh, you can do that and you can you can just upload your Hapog capture gameplay you can of course whenever you're editing that you can add logos and uh, watermarks or anything like that at that time but you'll still have the crisp clean gameplay to fall back on uh, and that's really the biggest benefit of this if you if you do walkthroughs I use those as an example because uh, usually a walkthrough won't have you know a whole lot going on it might just have the watermark in the corner so you know with this overlay that we've set up in OBS this one would be fine you know to upload to YouTube with probably we don't have you know there's not notification alerts or anything going off but um, as it gets more complicated you know sometimes you'll find that you know you might have ruined a cutscene because you know you were talking over it or something like that so it's nice to have this to fall back on uh, you know with a pod capture and of course, you can screen capture Hapog Capture uh, in XSplit, in OBS multi-platform. It doesn't matter which version you're using, but if you're going to use the original version of OBS, you do have to use it. So uh, it was worth it was worth making that the first lesson today. So uh, as we continue the lesson, as we continue this tutorial series, we are going to uh, we're going to be adding to this 
OBS scene and making it really cool. Showing, I'm going to be showing you guys all kinds of cool stuff that we can do, uh, and then you'll be able to use that going forward. So, uh, I thank you guys for watching this today. So, I will see you next time. Hey, before you go, if you'd like to see the previous tutorial series I did for Hapog, it's right up there. It covers everything from which HDP VR would be right for you, all the way to how to get sponsored. Uh, and then if you want to see more of me, you can check out my channel right over there, Fallen Frog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and we'll see you guys next time.